From the Queen City, it's Night Bright with your host, Sterling Thrill. Tonight, we got Grace Hoff, Mona Lisa Music on the Keys, and I am your announcer, Big Mike. Let's give it up for the host of Night Bright, Mr. Sterling Thrill. I feel like I should be dancing whatever dance I would do in an elevator without anybody watching. Just yes. <laughs> yes, everybody. Thank you guys so much for being here. We appreciate you guys. Thank y'all so much. It is time to celebrate. You know, uh, it's actually Steve Carell's birthday today. Uh, yeah, yeah. We invited him to the show, uh, but I think he got. Yeah, I think he's getting held up at the office. Hey. <laughs> was it's also Madonna's birthday? Did John? It's actually Madonna's birthday today. Yeah, she turned sixty-four. That's right. Yeah, she's a boomer. Uh, well, most of her face is still a millennial, but she. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> did y'all see uh, that a couple weeks back? Someone won that billion-dollar Mega Millions. Oh did y'all see that? Someone yes. won that Mega Millions. But the IRS kept like hundreds of millions of dollars Damn. of it. Yeah, man. So, uh, congrats to the IRS for winning the Mega Million. Yeah. So we appreciate you for winning the lottery. Uh, good stuff, man. Uh, today is actually uh, National Roller Coaster Day. Ooh. Yeah, National Roller Coaster Day, or as everyone that's ever dated me called it, Valentine's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Today's also National Tell a Joke Day, uh, and I celebrate it by telling everyone what I really thought of them. Ah! Followed by, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> uh, seriously, though, in honor of National Tell a Joke Day, I like to do a lot of like improv and I like to do crowd work and stuff. So let's do something fun right now. Anybody in the audience, uh, any anybody here, Mona Lisa, our director, Bob, anybody, uh, throw out a topic, any topic. And for in honor of National Tell a Joke Day, I will create a joke on the spot. Throw out a topic now. Hot dog. Mona Lisa, you were too excited about that hot dog. I said throw out a topic. I think you just ordered lunch. I think you're too excited. All right, give me another topic. Anybody yell out a topic? Marvel. Marvel Comics. Oh, awesome. Yes, I'm glad you said Marvel and not DC. Because that would have been a bad joke if you just said DC. <laughs> bad joke is also what DC calls their films. That's what that is. All right. Uh, <laughs> National Roast Somebody Day is what it is. It should be. Uh, let me get one more. Anybody throw out any topic? Anything you got? Throw out a topic. Teacher pay. Teacher yeah. pay. That's already a joke. I don't have to write out. Thank you so much. All right, so National Tell a Joke Day can get you in trouble if you're not careful. You got to know the audience. You got to know the joke. Which I thought was a great time to do a cancelable joke. Do you guys want to hear me in this monologue with a cancelable joke? Yes, 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 yes. Get it canceled. <laughs> well, Lisa, I think you want lunch and I think you want to host the show. Like, why are you want to cancel this bad? Anyway, one of your groups are going to get offended. I don't know. One of you are going to get offended. Uh, here it is. Uh, Mike Pence is back in the news. You guys, did y'all see that our former vice president, Mike Pence, is back in the news? Uh, if you remember him, basically for this joke, just remember he's like ultra conservative. That's all you got to remember. Mike Pence, super, super, super conservative. Okay, there we go. Our setting is set. Hopefully, I still have a job after this. Uh, Mike Pence is back in the news. Did you guys see that Mike Pence actually voted to cut down all the trees in Midtown Atlanta? Did what? y'all know that? Yeah, yeah. He made the decision once he realized that shade never made anybody less gay. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta think about it. It's a Swifty <laughs> reference. Mona Lisa, did you get my Taylor Swift joke? You guys, we got a great show for you. Grace House is our guest. Right now, give it up for the wonderful and amazing Miss Mona Lisa music. We were born this way. We were 
up on his way. Do we still have a job, Sterling? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Mona Lisa music, everybody. <laughs> Mona Lisa. Great job, Yay! my friend. Great job. Now, did you get my Taylor Swift joke this time? I did get your Yeah, Taylor Shane Taylor never Swift. made anybody less gay. Yes. And then I was like, all right, I'm about to get, we both about to get canceled, I guess is what it is. Because you, you just went with me. You're just like, yeah, let's go. We're just going to go. Well, I'm kind of gay. Kind of gay. All right, cool. So I'm not going to get canceled. Hashtag, I can say oh, that. You can't. But straight white dude over here. No, we're getting. Can't say that. All right, good. Well, it was a nice time knowing you guys. It was a lot of fun uh, knowing you, my night right tenure. I appreciate that. Uh, so I thought this was a great time to bring something up. Do you remember when we built the set? God, yeah. Okay, so we built the set. Mike was in Puerto Rico. I, just said, I mean, I don't think Mike. Somewhere. Uh, Dominican. I don't know where he was, but he wasn't here. Having a Baja. He was, it was a blast. Uh, <laughs> all right, so this this something. So me and Bobby were like putting up stuff, whatever. We got this place. So I brought in a night bright. We're called night bright. I brought in a night light. You remember those night yes. lights? Yes, okay. yes, with all the right. glow. So this is the night light. It is on our shelves here. Yes, I do that. We don't need that. It's good. All right, this is our night light, you guys. I asked Mona Lisa. <laughs> Oh, come on. To do the nightlight. Now listen, my studio audience, I just want you to look at this for a second. Oh. Don't say anything. I want you guys to please guess. If you know, don't say it. But I mean, just do your best guess. Here's a look so everybody can see it. What do you think this is? Anybody tell me, what do you think this is? Yell it out. Give me something. What do you think it is? Smiley face. Smiley face. That's a good one. Volcanoes. Volcanoes. Why not? Candy canes. I hear candy canes. Well, Merry Christmas, because your present is. I said, Mona Lisa, do you want to on the night right on the light night bright light bright? Do you want to do a skyline of Charlotte? And she said. <laughs> she said yes. <laughs> so me and Bobby are like building something. Uh, I turn around, and this is our night bright sky rocking view. I had to do something because I wasn't about to help you put together. You want to go help put that together? None of none well, of that. Thank you very something. much, your artistic thing. Good job on your artistic ability. One more time for Mona Lisa Music, Yay! everybody. I bet you won't ask me to do that again. I bet we won't ask you to do that again. Uh, today's yeah. the 16th of August. What shows do you have coming up? Oh man. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I ought to know what it's called. I'm so shamed. I should know what it's called, especially It's called one. this right here. The graphics on the bottom. Yeah. You're not in real life. You're not like, come on, Lisa. You look like you're like, I don't see nothing here. I don't. I got my glasses on. Yeah, you that's, need a stronger prescription. Clue. All right, so you got some shows coming up. We'll put that information right here. You're not the only performer that is a co-host on this show. I'm not. <laughs> I, I'm a performer, too. You do? Where? That's a good question. I was hoping you'd ask that. I have shows coming up, Mona Lisa, is all I'm saying. I have shows coming up. Uh, so I'm not in them. You know what's sad about that? You actually are in one of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you really are. All right, so <laughs> we don't rehearse. Uh, you guys, here's the shows. If you guys like to see me do live stand-up comedy, if, like, if, if you're not like Mona Lisa, and you'd like to see me do live stand-up comedy, I have a show coming up on oh my gosh i forgot myself <laughs> i got a, a corrado show on rock hill that information is right here all right and then also this is really cool tonight's guest is grace Howe. we had tara brown pop in last yes. week and those two and you and i are on another show this saturday it's this, it's this saturday zero. it's this saturday yeah. this saturday we have a show coming up this saturday yes. We don't know. We'll figure it out. We have a show coming up. It's Tara Brown's Clean Comedy uh, Show, a uh, part of the Queen City Comedy Experience. It's a really good thing. We'll reverse. We'll rehearse this thing. We'll rehearse. All right, we're done. Oh my gosh, I'm glad everything. Uh, Mike Doodlem sponsors. Night Bright is brought to you by the like button. Why don't you see what that thing does? And by Bright Entertainment. Book, trivia, tag live, and other team building experiences for your remote teams now at brightentertainment.com. And by Bobby Kearns Productions. Capture your life, your career perfectly at bobbykearnsproductions.com. Now back to the most funny best friend a, a guy can ask for. Back to Sterling and Mona. All right, thank you. 
Thank you, Big Mike. We appreciate that, man. And uh, right now we're joined by Tara Brown. Hey, Tara, Charlotte. how Hi. are you back, my friend? We don't do things back to back. No, Stella. Last time I was here, I gave you some travel tips and I had some more. You have more? You can't do yeah. the same thing twice. Um, no, Sterling. Last week we did Tara's Travel Tips. This is different. This is a new segment we're going to call... Travel Tips for Tara. That's, that's the same bit. That's, that's the same thing. It's even the same thing. You, you didn't hear the... That's okay. Uh, <laughs> different, Sterling. All right, all right. So what, what are uh, Travel Tips by Tara? So here's the thing. I just got back from somewhere. I'm a little jet lagged. So me being here for you, you're welcome. <laughs> so I Thank just you. learned some things, right? Things maybe you don't do, right? Like you don't take your full size bottle of liquid through TSA. They don't uh, like that. They don't like that, right? Yeah. Um, and then those spy high hooker boots you thought you bought because they'd be cute for like your boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Not at the airport. They okay. Because yeah. <laughs> when you got to take your shoes off and stuff, it takes a long time. Yeah. Yeah. No. Then also, <laughs> you got to start from the top and go down. Yeah, the lacy little, ones. No, the so, lacy ones. That's not good for don't the Don't ask airport. why I have the experience. Why? Well, why do you know that? that? Don't, don't worry. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, last week I talked about grouper. Yeah, yeah. And I mobile. Don't buy grouper at the airport. But you know what else not to bring on the plane? What? Tuna fish. Uh, who tuna brings fish. tuna fish on the plane? Those same people like who bought the crab legs in Myrtle Beach. Did you hear about that? Yeah. Ooh, crab uh, legs on the plane. <laughs> Tuna fish. You will lose a lot of friends if you bring tuna fish on an airport. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I don't doubt it. That sounds horrible. People don't like that. And then um, spend all your money buying airport snacks. <laughs> <laughs> so are you saying to do spend my money or don't spend my money? I mean, it's that? good for the economy. <laughs> <laughs> like $20 to get you like a bag of chips. Right? Who doesn't like that? <laughs> right? I mean, I have, I have nothing. I can't afford chips. Yeah, for regular size shit, regular prices shit. <laughs> and then lastly, um, SAS TSA. You, you SAS can SAS them? them because like you'll get escorted out the airport, okay. right? Yeah. Quickly. So like if you want to get out quickly, yeah. that's how you get out quickly. So sass them when you land. Sass them when you land, not, not when you go. Yeah, all right, yeah, not when you go. Like, yeah, 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 when yeah. you want to, like say, I want to get home fast, you got to make a stop through jail. <laughs> then you'll get home eventually. So all right. I'm I just, I don't, I don't want you to ask me how I know that one. <laughs> would but never, would never <laughs> ask uh, the amazing Tara Brown that question. But you know where people should travel to? Where? To my clean and family friendly comedy show. That's taking oh. place Saturday. Oh. Uh, hey, and you and Mona Lisa Music and um, Grace Howe, your guest coming up. Grace. Hey, Grace. There you go. All going to be on the show. Super family friendly show. Saturday, August 20th, 4 p.m. at the Safe Door Theater in Uptown Charlotte. So come and laugh with us. We're going to have fun. We're going to travel that Tara Brown, everybody. Tara Brown, thank you. All right, guys, thank you so much. I am uh, thrilled to be joined by our guest tonight, the wonderful and hilarious Grace Howth, everybody. Grace. Thank, thank you so much for being here. How are you today? I'm doing awesome. How are you? I am great, but I want to also hear how your uh, partner in crime slash, hopefully this week, opponent <laughs> is doing. Give it up for last week's guest and the wonderful and hilarious herself, Joy Wills, is also with us. <laughs> My friend Joy, how are you this week? I'm doing well, yeah. How has your life changed since the last time you were on Night Bright last week? Uh, it um, it seems like it went by in a flash. Yeah, it was so quick. <laughs> it was so quick. All right, so I brought you here to play a game. <laughs> we got a snort. Uh, last week we were going to play a game, yes. but, uh, you know, I don't know what happened. We tend to go off the rails here, but something happened. Uh, and uh, are you guys excited to play this game? So excited. Yeah. All right, so. I we're love gonna winning. You love winning. Yeah. Oh, wow. So we're going to do a little setup now. And that is, I asked you guys about, a hair, I called it a hair flip and you corrected me. Yeah. What is your signature move? It's hair behind the ear. So it's just kind of like putting your... Okay. Like and it's a, literally the name of a hair behind the ear. Yes. Yeah. Like, instead of sit down, it's sit on the chair is what it is. <laughs> Same thing. Not at all. Well, we don't... They're not <laughs> Yeah, there's no flipping involved. No the flipping. flipping is this. You're saying, right? Is no, that it's when they just, it's like Harry Styles and then when they sing, what are they what are they talking about flipping hair? Is it like that? Yeah. I'm just would, asking because be, I don't have be flip. hair. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. so this 
Yeah. That's Can just... we see that move one time so we know what it looks like, <laughs> the hair behind the ear? Well, we showed you last week. But oh, okay. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm you sorry. Another, yeah. for, those that, <laughs> for those people that didn't want to tune in for joy, but wanted to tune <laughs> yeah. in for grace, <laughs> do you mind? <laughs> yeah. Based on my attitude alone. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I understand. Uh, all right. So uh, one more time for that for camera. Can you show camera. us okay. the uh, hair behind sure. the ear? Hey, behind here, everybody. There you go. All right, you guys did a great job. And you have the, do you, are you wearing the matching bracelets this week? We are. I always have mine on. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I have to do this. I'm so sorry. You're not my 15 year old daughter, but I'm just going to make sure. Uh, That one's not even fair, but favorite Spice Girl song that's not wannabe. Oh, Oh, no. (laughs) Okay, great. And favorite. That's the only one that matters. Favorite Bon Jovi song that's not, I mean, that's not fair. Bon Jovi's got like a hundred. Favorite. Well, it's okay because I'm not wearing a Bon Jovi shirt. What is this? Oh. This is oh. Elton John. Elton John. Oh. We're going to, can you just put Bon Jovi on the front of that? We're going to edit. We'll edit that in post. Whatever. I can't, you know, thank you for calling out my eyes. Like, I can't read. So we brought you guys here, not for music trivia, but to play a game. That game is not going to be that, but that game, we tried to do it last week. It went off the rails. Mona Lisa, you ready for the single? This game, I believe, is called the Besties. Oh no! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game is called. Hair behind the ear challenge. Yeah! Yeah! All right, friends. We're not actually challenging you to put your hair behind the ear, but what we're going to do is uh, we ask you guys questions on cards. Last week, we kept your answers. Okay. You answer questions. How your partner in crime, your bestie over there, ask the how you think they would ask the question. How you think they would answer the question. Gotcha. Grace, since you are our guest this week, uh, we're going to give you the opportunity to earn points first in this challenge. In order to do that, we have to ask your opponent, your bestie, Joy, some questions. Okay. We're going to see how she answers. If you got the question right, you get to put your hair behind the ear. Nice. And get a point. We're going to see who gets the most points. Joy, I got a question for you. Tell me, honestly, do you prefer the beach or the mountains more? First question. Uh, the beach. You prefer the beach? Yeah. Yes. What was your answer? The beach. The beach. Grace got a point. Let's see it. Bam. There you go. That's the whole game. It only took us 90 minutes to get to that first one. All right. Next question, Joy. Let's see if Grace gets this one right. Uh, if you were a popular drink, which one would you be? Popular drink. If you were that drink, what would one would be? A Shirley Temple. Now, why do you say a Shirley Temple? Oh, that's a good that's a good one. Um, I don't know. It's just my favorite drink as a child. Yes. Favorite child drink. Yeah. All right. It's it's refreshing and um, it's like the kid fancy drink. The you, kid fancy you, you drink. You get to feel special when you're drinking it. But you're not a Grace, kid. You're Grace didn't know that at all. She didn't actually know that at all. No, 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 no. Can we reframe and ask her if it was an alcoholic? Beverage. Well, I said drink so you wouldn't have to unless because I was like I don't know if somebody like doesn't drink like I don't know if someone like is in recovery I don't you think know I don't she know doesn't so. drink is she, okay <laughs> <laughs> if it was an alcoholic drink how about that we'll give she her she would say a high noon <laughs> yeah. I think I should that's the right answer yeah. she gets, yeah. can you do half a half a hair behind the ear no I think I deserve full credit <laughs> oh okay <laughs> thank you so much hair behind the ear there you go that's uh two points because. When you come on this show, you can just make up the rule. I don't need it. Uh, all right, here you go. Uh, between you and uh, your friend Grace here, Joy, who would be the worst roommate? I would, for sure. I would be really that, bad. Yeah, that's a for Verbatim decision. is what Grace said, for sure. Now, why, why would you be the worst roommate? Um, I'm really messy, and Grace is a natural caretaker. She takes care of everyone around her, so she's yeah. a very good Aww, person. So, yeah. Cool. All right, so here, you get one more. Oh, yes. Here we go, everybody. There you go. Uh, what? Who is your celebrity crush? Um. Yeah, I don't know who you would say for this. Um, this is the one. I maybe like Joe done. Burrow. <gasps> it's not the right one. She oh, did not say no, that. Uh, who did you guess? Um, okay, give me what's another you're one. Say another Neil one. Brennan, are you? No, but that was one of the th- ones I thought. Of. Think of your favorite. Sh- one of your favorite shows. The answer was the guy from Euphoria, Jacob. Jacob oh, Lordy. There you go, that guy. All right, so yeah. no hair flip. No I'm hair so flip. sorry about that. No sure. hair behind the ear. The question I asked Grace was the last question. Her next opportunity to get a point was uh, between the two of you, who's the funniest? Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love that. The, I love the audience participation. Yeah. <laughs> we got them back. All right. Uh, what do you think you she said? I think she would say me. 
It's because she's very nice. She knows. She actually was savage. She said it was Grace. Grace is not Grace. All right, she said it was you. Well, great job. You got four that round. Give me another hair behind the ear. All right, four is pretty tough to beat. Yes. Whoever's playing, I've already got I, I told up. you I love winning. You love winning. Or... Four is the number to beat, <laughs> to be the better bestie. Here you go right now. Um, the question I ask Grace is, does she like cats or dogs more? I mean, she knows for sure. Oh, which one? Uh, yeah. Um, oh, she knows. I love, what, so Joy answered this question about me. Yeah, so the question I asked Joy was, do you like cats or dogs more? Yeah. It's definitely dogs for me. I'm a dog person. I Joy, have is that was that your answer? Of course. That's what I said. Then you get to... Oh. Yay! Hey, all right, one point for Joy. Your next opportunity, Grace. Uh, Joy asked this question, answers this question about you. If uh, Grace wasn't a comedian, uh, what dream job would she have? What dream this job? This is tough. Oh, this is hard. Um, I don't even know that we've ever talked about this, but... For me, it would be like styling people. Oh, that clothes. makes sense. Oh, like clothes. Styling. What, were you, what were you supposed to do? What was I supposed to do? Like my parents? Oh, pianist. <laughs> I was oh, to go a professional yeah, pianist. that would have been the right one. All right, so you didn't get one for that. I'm sorry about what, that. If what she did you gets high noon, then I put pianist. Oh, she did? Oh, I love that you guys are just fighting for the, like, yo, I get it. <laughs> yeah, she um, got to lead me on the drink line. She can I get, get, she can get, she can get. Yeah. I think oh, she you're giving credit. the yeah. credit. All right, so I guess. I if you think it's okay, sir. One more. Hair behind the ear. There you go. Joy <laughs> now has two. All right, how did she answer this question? Okay. Who is more late to things? Oh, definitely Joy. Definitely Joy. She yes. actually wrote the word definitely Joy. <laughs> <laughs> One more. Three to four. Oh, no. We can't give her the opportunity to beat me, though. Well, you, you, yeah. you, you yeah. signed off on questions. that. Oh, you she have, didn't have five five questions. questions. Your next question <laughs> is, maybe it's telling, who is more competitive between the two of you? Oh, man. I think it's me. You think it's you. I think I said Joy me. said Joy. <laughs> Maybe that we're even competitive yeah. about who's so, more competitive. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so here you go. This is going to be the last question. It's okay. an opportunity for you to tie it up. No one leaves a loser if you get this right. Okay. Oh, well, and if you tied. don't. Tied. Yeah, you don't want to be tied? Here you I go. I am going to get it. Wait, who else? <laughs> <laughs> what, is your, what is your biggest red flag? My biggest red flag? Yeah, what would Joy say you would say your biggest red flag is? <gasps> I was nice. It's <laughs> a good hint. You can give her hints if you want to, but it ties up the game. Right now, if she gets it wrong, you're the winner. The biggest so. red flag. I mean, the biggest red flag for her, for from me, is someone who's a comedian. Like, uh, no, 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 no. The not, question uh, is, <laughs> what would you? <laughs> what, what would you say? What would you yeah, say I mean, is your biggest red flag? Yeah. What would you say is your biggest? For my personal red flag. What would you say is your biggest red flag? Not dating. What okay. Your like. Flag is. Oh, okay. Like my biggest flaw. And you were being pretty much. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, but it's true. <laughs> Seriously? I'm, are we out of time yet? Yeah. <laughs> um, I think she would say I don't have any flaws at all. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, um, I don't know. I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. You want to so continue close. that? So close. Thought? A little bit too much. Like to... I she said that you me. overextend yourself. You say yes to too many things. Oh, like playing this game. Really I'm nice. so sorry. <laughs> that's actually really Grace, nice. Grace, <laughs> I am so sorry. That's what she said. So, Joy, I'm sorry to you, actually. I guess I lose. That you did not get that one right. Ouch. Thanks for letting me win since it's my episode. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this is too nice. Hey, ask us who's nicer. Uh, who's nicer? Sterling, I think you know the answer to this. <laughs> I thought your answer was Sterling, and I was like, yes, I'm nicer. <laughs> well, you're obviously All nicer. All right, no, my friend. No, Sterling, I want you to answer it. We're not going to leave until you do. All right, you want me to answer or ask <laughs> Yes. It? No, you're going to you ask, hey, answer you do whatever you want to do. objectively yeah. who you think is a nicer Who well, I think is nicer. Uh, you, why don't you, know, you do it by applause? You haven't done the interview yet, and uh, yeah. I got roasted in her interview. So when I do an interview with you, I don't know. Can I answer after, like, the end of the no, show? No, you have to answer it now. Is she being answer. aggressive? It's okay. You don't have to answer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she, was so, <laughs> she was kind of mean right there. She don't have to answer it. It's no big deal. All right, cool. Uh, so you know what I think is the nicest? You know what I think is the nicest? Who? Mona Lisa music. Thank you guys so much, Mona. The Bestie Challenge. Uh, thank you, Joy, for coming back this week. Thank we appreciate you. that. Uh, sorry you didn't win. But thank you so much for coming back. <laughs> but you do get to see your Bestie perform stand-up. We got more with Grace House right after this, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you, everybody. Uh, we are so excited. Uh, Jazz is going to be our guest next week. Jazz is hilarious. But tonight, you're going to be thrilled to see our guest. Uh, she is uh, super funny. We're actually on a show together this Saturday. Uh, I think me and T I think we've mentioned it in several segments now. So you better come see that show uh, with me and all of us, like most of us on the show this Saturday, uh, part, part of the Queen City Comedy Experience. And you'll also get to see, uh, probably heard tell about some other shows, but hilarious comedian. You're going to love her. Please give it up for Grace House, everybody. <laughs> Sterling. I'm so excited to be here, you guys. Um, I have been doing comedy for a few years, and uh, one of my dreams has actually been to be on a late night talk show. And here I am. I'm on Night Bright, um, a show where both words are misspelled. <laughs> um, so, I'm sorry. I had to mention it. I mean, Spelling and education are really important to Asian people. Great. Um, so in case you guys need to know how to spell it, I can help you out. <laughs> um, so something sad happened last week. Um, one of my childhood um, like idols passed away. Um, Olivia Newton-John passed away last week. And that's sad because Grease was one of the very first musicals I ever saw. And... Um, she also taught me very valuable lessons about life. I mean, in that movie, her character um, taught me that in order to get a boy to like you, you shed your identity and take on his. <laughs> <laughs> so, isn't that right? I mean, that message still applies. <laughs> so, also, um, I guess last week, also Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson broke up. Did you guys know that? Yeah. Um, are you guys sad about that? I don't know. I, I think the saddest part about it for me is that my news algorithm put that story first. <laughs> like it's above like inflation, gas prices, the war in the Ukraine. Like there's something wrong with me. I'm sorry. Um, also, did you guys know um, Pete's 28? So um, he's young, and uh, he put he like put a tattoo on his neck of Kim's initials and all of his, her kids. Yeah. And right, that's crazy. That's like, I just feel like twenty eight year olds. Like that's so optimistic. Like he <laughs> thought, he thought like he was it for like little Psalm was gonna be like stepdaddy Pete. Like, yeah. like that was never gonna happen. I don't understand. But anyway, my point is that twenty year olds are very optimistic. I have never been that optimistic about anything, and he was that optimistic about Kim K. I don't know. Um, so anyway, I am a mother. Um, I have two very adorable kids. They are 12 and 10. I always wanted to be a mom. That was all I ever wanted to be. Aww. Thank you. Um, sometimes at night when they're sleeping, I go into their rooms just to watch them sleep um, after I've given them a double dose of Benadryl. <laughs> they're so cute. Um, the other day, my 10-year-old was tickling me, and I had no reaction. And um, she's like, Mommy, I thought you said that you're very ticklish. And so I said to her, I used to be, but now Mommy's dead inside. <laughs> <laughs> I got a snort. That makes me happy. <laughs> um, so uh, being a mom is great, um, but we do know that, like, you know, it's hard in this day and age. Like, I try to feed my kids organic food and make them healthy and... All the while, I know that in my 20s, my daily breakfast was Red Bull, Pop-Tarts, and two Marlboro Lights. <laughs> <laughs> but not much has changed, because I have a really good friend in her 20s, who I will not name, and her daily breakfast is an Adderall and an applesauce pack. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, I think Pop-Tarts are healthier than Adderall. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Um, so anyway, um, anyone that has kids knows that uh, kids ask lots of questions. They yeah. always have questions, lots of them. My kids ask them all the time. Um, and I hate having awkward conversations because I don't know how to answer them. Like my kids always ask me stuff like, where do babies come from? Is Santa real? Why is Tucker Carlson always so angry? <laughs> and I don't know the answers to these. Um, so my 12-year-old boy is, l is learning about the birds and the bees 
in school because he's in middle school. And he came home the other day and he asked me, he said, Mom, Mommy, how do animals give consent? (laughs) And I don't know how to answer these questions. And your mouth is wide open. But that is why I send my kids to school on the bus. (laughs) So some kid named Keegan with older brothers and unlimited access to YouTube can take those (laughs) curveballs. This may backfire, though, because I'm going to be really annoyed if my kid ends up looking like Post Malone. (laughs) That's my time, you guys. Thank you so much. Great job, everybody. Great job. More great right after this. All right, friends, uh, I am joined now with tonight's guest, Grace Health, everybody. That was a fantastic set, friend. Thank you. That was awesome. I it. Uh, how much of that set is like real life? Like how much of that is you're like, I got to figure this out. I got what's going on the stage. Um, I feel like a lot of it is based yeah. on, yes, real life. It really happened. Yes. All that My stuff. kids, yes. Which one is going to be the Post Malone one? Uh, my son. Okay. Yeah. The son is definitely going to be uh, you know, also, you can play the fifth on any question. Uh, no no drama at home. Um, uh, so, also, my friend, so you've been uh, doing comedy for a while now. How long have you been doing it? I th- it's been about four years. Four years? Yes. Wow. Yes. I think I remember when you started, and uh, so now I'm just, I'm just, I'm not, I haven't progressed. I should be better. Uh, <laughs> wow, there you go. All right, so uh, four years, that's fantastic. Uh, what is your favorite thing about comedy? Like, why why did you even do stand-up, and what's your favorite thing about it? Man, I, I love, I think it's, like, probably the most fun and the hardest thing I've ever done yeah. at the same time. Have you ever tried to get two uh, coworkers to do a game? And then you ask them, have you ever tried that? Um, No, but I've been a part of someone else. All right, so uh, so back to your real answer, though. It was was really, it was the hardest and most, did you say most rewarding? It's it's the most fun, yes. Most fun and hardest. And it's the hardest, yes. I think it is the hardest thing I've ever tried to do it. And you're a mom. Yes. And, and this I'm, is the hardest. Parenting might be, it's like equal. How okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hard to get better at it. You have to work so hard. Yeah. I think that's what draws me to it. But also I get to meet so many different people outside of kind of my mom bubble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I love that. I yeah. mean, I get to meet people and different, like lots of different types of people that mm-hmm. do different things that have so many different life paths. Yeah. And um, in my day to day, everyone's kind of really similar. Oh, I got you. So it's nice to kind of add that spice and diversity to my life. So I heard different life paths. I feel like that's the polite way of saying, like, some people ain't going nowhere. Like, some well, people are going I don't nowhere. Mean, no, I don't, yeah, I don't mean it like that at all. No. Then can we call some people out? Uh, who do you think? <laughs> also, you said you have a friend. <laughs> you have a friend that, uh, in your stand up, you said something about you had a friend that uh, has Adderall for breakfast. Can we call that person out? I have to protect some of my sources. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> let me ask something. What would you, uh, what's a piece of advice you give anybody that's, um, uh, you know, that's just starting out in stand-up? What's something you would give them? Starting out, it's just go to open mics and go yeah. grind. And then also try to make a couple of friends to kind of keep you encouraged. Because it's hard. Yeah. It's hard to not have support. Yeah. And um, I think I'm really fortunate because yeah. I have, a really good kind of network of good, especially female comedians that okay. I have that I admire that kind of have always. I don't get me. to be in there. I guess I don't get oh, to be in the Oh, Sterling, you can't do. <laughs> oh, okay, females and Sterling. There you go. <laughs> uh, you know what? Something I, I thought about is uh, so your stage of life when you were doing comedy, you already have children at this point, right? Yeah, I started when I was 41. I'm 45. Wow. So. Wow. <laughs> I definitely wasn't trying to call out the age. You're allowed to have kids when you're like in your early 20s. So I wasn't that's trying true. to say anything out. That's true. Out, you but, are um, allowed. Yes. But that's fantastic. So, yep. so, but you're, so, so you have like a family. I do. And then what does the family think when it's like, hey, mom's going to go be a stand-up comic? Like, how does that, how does that look? It's actually pretty cool. My kids really love it. Yeah. They love, um, and so when I, mommy has a show tonight, mommy, break a leg. Aww, have a good time. So like they awesome. come up, um, they do get upset in the little in the morning. I'll like warn them at breakfast. I'm like, mommy has a show tonight. So I may not see you a lot tonight. Yeah. They'll be like, oh, 
well, well, I see you when I get home from camp or whatever, yeah. but they're very supportive and they, they're at the age where they're still very proud of me, but I feel like that could turn to embarrassment pretty yeah. quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like they're still at the, like, my mommy's a comedian. Right. Um, so, yes. Yeah. And they're also, you know, I, they're very um, invested in my comedian friends that oh. they know. So like they we have, heard, uh, was it last week or something, we heard Joy saying that, like, like, the, like They're her, very your son close. really like, yeah, okay, oh, yeah, yes, yeah. they love, um, so my husband loves Joy's comedy. Like, um, my it's son okay. has seen Tara. No, it's fantastic. And yeah, it's fantastic. well, so th whenever Tara has a clean show, yeah, yeah. my kids can come. And oh, so that's my kids awesome. have both gotten to come to yeah. see me perform because of the clean well, show. Are they coming to your, any other upcoming clean shows that you have? Yes, the one that you've talked about that we're doing. All, epi doing. all episode. We're on a show together August though, this 20th, Saturday. Sa this Saturday. Yeah, Super yeah, yeah. exciting. We're going to be at the Stage Door Theater. It's going to be amazing. With? Mona Lisa Music's gonna be there too. Mona Lisa's gonna be there. Doing oh, musical awesome. improv. Yes. So your kids will be able to see us do stand up. Yes. Your kids are gonna be, see the, me. Yes. Do you think they'll uh, like me or no? I think they'll love you because you have like kind of the radio DJ voice thing going oh, on. Oh, okay. So and I you didn't say face, which is dope. I used to be a radio DJ. <laughs> I actually used to be a radio DJ. I think I knew that. Um, That's awesome. Well, let me ask you this: uh, Do you have a uh, like a mentor or someone that's influenced you, uh, like a specific person that you care to call out, or maybe I know you mentioned the group. Right. Um, um, yeah, no, it's, I think it's my uh, friends, uh, the, my female friends on the scene that I yeah. kind of look up to that I feel like, you know, I run my things by and they encourage me yeah. whether it's funny or not. And I kind of get that feedback from them. It's people that I trust a lot. Oh, that's awesome. Do that, so that's really cool. Probably two or three females on the scene. That, and they're kind of like, they, they got your back there influencing you. They're doing all that fun stuff. Absolutely. That's awesome. I got another question for you. What about, um, what's something that uh, you wished You've been asked in this interview already, or maybe any other time someone's talking to you. What's something you wish somebody um, would ask you? Someone would ask me. Um, I don't know. Sterling, I think you did such an excellent job. I don't yeah, know. that's oh. that we're looking for. <laughs> it's such a fantastic job. You don't get to know anything else about Grace Howe. <laughs> how, I don't know how many times have I called you the wrong name. You just didn't say anything. You know what, Sterling, people say my name wrong all the time. Yeah. And my husband grew up with the name, and yeah. it's, it's, I don't. Same thing to him. Is that his experience, too? Yes. So I'm just very used to it. Was there talk about you uh, about him taking your name? Uh, no. All right, no, I didn't <laughs> want to do that. But it's funny because I, I have so many good friends on the scene and they'll come up to me before the show and go, how do you say your last name? And I'm like, how? And then they go up and they say, ha. Ha. Like, yeah, it's like yeah, they yeah, ask yeah, me yeah. and then they, so I, everyone has the best intentions. I truly believe it. That's so a good I way of saying fine. it. Yeah, my name is so easy. It's Sterling, but I get called like stupid. And it's okay all the time. Well, I don't think that's them mistaking your oh, name. Okay. I feel like that's they them. They just know me well. There you go. Uh, well, friend, uh, hopefully you know me a little bit better after this, because I know we got to know you. And uh, what can we know that you're working on? You got anything coming up? Any other shows? Um, that, that, the Tara's yeah. Queen Comedy Queen Show comedy is show. the one that I have for the Queen City Comedy Festival that I'm super excited about. And then to be determined for after that. We got more shows. You're available yes. to book where? Um, at Gray South on Facebook. You can follow me. There you go. Yes. Fantastic. You can call uh, Sterling. Ask him. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> you guys want to get a hold of Grace? Just, just let me know. I got a, I have an actual phone book. I have to look at the, uh, the house. Not the, the phone book. Yeah. We're not old at all. Yeah, not at all. Not at all. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, one time right now. Give it up for Grace House, everybody. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I appreciate Thank it. You so much. Right now, we're going to hear our show. I said our game. Whatever. We're going to hear the, whatever this was wrapped up by the wonderful and amazing. One more time, get over Mona Lisa Music. It's health, not hope. <laughs> not hope, not mouth. It's health. And I should be the thing for me. Unless you're going to give me some money. <laughs>
Oh, they are awesome. There you go. Well, hopefully your kids don't die. Give it up one more time for the music. Yeah. Great. Uh, Grace House, Tara Brown, Joy Wills was here. Everybody, give it up to everybody. Thank you so much. We'll see you next week.